Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 White Rose Awards with your host tonight, Natalie Anderson and Rich Williams. Good evening, Yorkshire! Welcome to Yorkshire 2020 White Rose Awards, sponsored by York City Nights. It's a bit different. We've gone virtual. Yeah, as not everyone, uh, this year we are delighted to be back to recognise the very best of Yorkshire tourism, albeit in a slightly different way this year. Yes, we can't all get together in person, but we can still celebrate. I hope you've all got your glad rags on and are ready for a party. Well, I've made the effort. You've made the effort. We've made the effort. We're good to go. If someone had said to me last year that we'd be doing a digital awards ceremony because of a global pandemic, <laughs> I'd have thought they'd probably be having a little bit too much Masons of Yorkshire gin. Uh, other Plenty of other gins are available. <laughs> but here we are, and we are here. We're in our studio uh, tonight. We're joining you uh, through the screens, and uh, we have a team of people, all socially distanced, you'll be pleased to know, uh, here helping us out. Our team in the background as well. There we go. But yeah, I mean, what a ridiculously tough year for our tourism and hospitality sector. The 2020 White Rose Awards covers the periods from April 2019 to the end of March 2020. So we're actually mainly looking back to the pre-COVID world. I'm happy to do that. Oh. You? I mean, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, but it's vital we acknowledge the creativity, resilience and sheer graft that's been going on in the county since the pandemic started. In the words of White Rose Awards Chair of Judges, Elaine Lem, Yorkshire voted with its feet when other areas chose not to have their award ceremonies. But in true Yorkshire fashion, we went ahead. Absolutely. Which really reflects the grit of the tourism and hospitality sector here in Yorkshire in such difficult times. Uh, now, one sector which has also been hit hard by COVID is the charity sector. Welcome to Yorkshire chose Yorkshire Cancer Research as the official charity partner for 2020's Tour de Yorkshire, which, as many of you will know, was postponed due to the pandemic. This evening, we are asking you to please consider supporting the charity and help vital cancer research continue in our county. By making a donation, you will be helping to prevent, diagnose and treat cancer. Here's a video explaining more about the work of the charity and how you can help save lives in Yorkshire. Every week in Yorkshire, 600 people are told they have cancer. Yorkshire Cancer Research is Yorkshire's independent cancer charity dedicated to funding research so that you and those you love live longer, healthier lives. Together we can prevent cancer, diagnose cancer early when it's easier to treat, treat cancer by funding research that has a direct impact right here in Yorkshire. With your help, we are saving lives in your town, your city, and your community. You are a lifesaver. Thank you. Yorkshire Cancer Research, saving lives in Yorkshire. If you wish to donate to Yorkshire Cancer Research, details of how to do so are on the screen now. And thank you for your support. We've got nine fabulous prizes to be won this evening, all courtesy of our wonderful finalists. And one of these special prizes will go to someone who is part of tonight's White Rose Awards and who donates to Yorkshire Cancer Research by midnight this evening. There's more. If you haven't registered your details yet on the White Rose Awards website, please do so now as everyone who registers is in with a chance to win one of three amazing Yorkshire stays. We'd also love to hear from you throughout the nights. Uh, how you are celebrating, who you're celebrating with this evening as well. We know we can't be together, but we want to hear from you. So have you got your glad rags on in true White Rose Award style? We have a social wall so you can share posts, pictures, videos and good luck messages. Good luck messages That's the puppy. <laughs> using hashtag WRA2020 to join the conversation on Twitter too and to be in with a chance to win. We will be selecting our top five posts throughout the night and those lucky five will also win an exciting Yorkshire experience or break. More details of these prizes will be showcased during our short ad breaks this evening, so don't miss out. Now, uh, we've obviously gone to a little bit of effort tonight, but apart from the glad rags which we were talking about, we've also got something else which you might be able to see. Uh, we are honoured to have just launched a brand new pink Welcome to Yorkshire Y badge, which we are wearing tonight. Now, all of our fantastic finalists should have received their special finalist package in the post, including the new pink Y badge. It's a first, and these are now available to buy at the Yorkshire shop at shopyorkshire.com. 
www.thepodcast.com. Uh, we hope you can tuck into your stirred fudge whilst watching the show and make the most of your vouchers to spend at some fabulous individual Yorkshire restaurants once their doors open again. But before we get started with the awards, let's hear from Welcome to Yorkshire's Chief Executive, James Mason. Thank you, Rich, and thank you, Natalie. I hope you're warm inside our building tonight while I'm outside freezing. Uh, might be the chief executive, but that means nothing tonight. Not even allowed inside my own building, but that's because we're all socially distancing, of course, as we should. Hello, good evening, and thank you to everyone who's joined us tonight for the 2020 White Rose Awards. And I'd just like to start by thanking all my staff who have worked tirelessly over the last few weeks and months to put this event on virtually. Yep, yeah, completely different to what I expected when I signed up back in January. But you know what? We just carry on. It's that true Yorkshire grit that gets us through. So to all the winners, to all those that have taken part tonight, congratulations. But the real winner, let's be honest, is the tourism industry that stuck together, that's fought tooth and nail through this from March onwards. And here we are going into Christmas during a lockdown. So we're with you shoulder to shoulder and we'll get you through the rest of 2020 and 2021. I hope you're all dressed up to the nines like me. Natalie and Rich, you're looking gorgeous by the way. Uh, Rich and of course Natalie, in fact, and all you at home are looking fantastic. So let's get on with the show. Let's have a great night. Without Welcome to Yorkshire, without the Yorkshire tourism industry, we would be bereft. Let's be honest, it's been a tough year, but with me at the helm, we're going to battle on through with my team. And thanks for everyone who's been so kind to us over the last few years weeks and months. Thank you to the judges led by Elaine Lem for going through reams and reams of applications for all the runners and riders tonight. We really do appreciate that. So without further ado, we're going to pass on to some really well-known faces from across the Yorkshire region to pass on their congratulations and good luck before we go back to Richard Natalie. Here we go. Good evening and thank you very much for uh, letting me share this evening with you and um, congratulations to all the finalists and all the people who have put the names forward and uh, got themselves in the uh, shortlist variety and so you know it's been a tough year and Welcome to Yorkshire have been very supportive of all our industry and we've managed to have a, a virtual event so I'm looking forward to uh, um, seeing who wins and I just want to pass on my congratulations to all the finalists and everybody who got nominated so on behalf of Welcome to Yorkshire and everybody else, I'd like to say cheers, good luck. I've got my champagne ready. Make sure that we're all together and we'll celebrate. I'm sure it'll all be over soon. Two, good, three, four, five. Good evening and welcome. It's fantastic to see innovation and inspiration has been gathered in terms of this wonderful opportunity to celebrate this evening. It's fantastic that we can offer you the creativity that we have within our county. And of course, always a pleasure to be celebrating great art. We hope those of you that haven't been able to get themselves up and running will be doing so soon. Inspiration comes in many shapes and sizes. So for all of you, congratulations, have a wonderful evening and let's keep dancing. So just a big congratulations to all of the nominees and the winners of the White Rose Awards. As you can see, I'm in the beautiful Peace Hall. So very well done from all of us here at the Peace Hall. It's been an extremely tough year, but it's been a year when people have shone with resilience and grit, true Yorkshire grit. So well done on achieving the awards tonight and good luck to all of you. Thank you to Nikki, Sharon, Jas, and James as well. So a very different White Rose Awards, but some things will remain the same. The same robust judging process with our esteemed panel, of course, all experts in their fields, and the same sought after White Rose Awards. Can we have, can we have an ooh, please, for the White Rose Woo! Award? There we go. There we rehearsed that and everything. <laughs> Uh, which will be delivered to the winners after tonight's event. And we still want you to get involved as well. So send us your pictures and comments on social media. The hashtag is WRA2020. 
Tonight's awards will be presented in four chunks with short comfort breaks in between, so you'll have a chance to top up your glasses, grab some snacks. <laughs> We've got some great prizes to be won, top celebrity guests joining us, and spectacular performances from singer and Hollyoaks actress Bethany, comedians Pete Emmett and Lee Roberts, and yes, He's back for another White Rose Awards performing his latest seasonal song, one you all know and simply must sing along to. It's the absolute legend that is Chris Kamara. Unbelievable, I know. Absolutely, yeah, he's brilliant. <laughs> well, that's all coming later, but first of all, it's time to meet our first very special guest. Good evening to you all at the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards. I'm Hannah Cockcroft, five-time Paralympic champion and 12-time world champion. So I know how it feels to be up for and to win the top prizes. Fingers crossed for all of you. It's a real treat for me to be part of this celebration of tourism tonight. You may have seen me on Celebrity Great British Bake Off. And actually, I don't understand why they didn't ask me to cater for tonight. I mean, did you see my Swiss roll? <laughs> anyway. Let's get on with the awards. We're going to start with some fantastic categories and a first one I'm particularly interested in. Good luck everyone. Well, thank you, Hannah. Do you know, I really must check out that Swiss roll. I want to see this Swiss <laughs> roll that everyone's talking about. Yes, our first award is such an important one to get us going. This category recognises tourism businesses providing truly memorable experiences for all visitors, particularly those with accessibility needs. Let's take a look at the finalists for the Accessible and Inclusive Tourism Award sponsored by Immersive Tours. Cottage in the Dales, Leyburn. Jorvik Viking Centre. Leeds Playhouse. Waleswood Caravan and Camping Park at Rother Valley Country Park. Some great businesses there, all working incredibly hard, but who are tonight's first winners? Uh, let's start it off then. First, we have the Bronze Award, and congratulations goes to... Leeds Playhouse and the Silver Award goes to the Jorvik Viking Centre. Now let's take a look at the winner of tonight's first Gold White Rose Award sponsored by Immersive Tours. Congratulations to Cottage in the Dales. The judges were in no doubt about this decision. A business on a mission which is firmly focused on accessibility and making it a great experience for all visitors throughout the whole customer journey. From booking to recommending places to visit and the stay itself. Right, so let's have a talk to our winners. Ah, there we go. There you are. Congratulations. How are you feeling? The blood pressure's gone through the roof. <laughs> absolutely delighted. Thank you. Uh, well, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're very happy as well because we were very worried about the Zoom calls. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, but there you are. Uh, just a, a, an incredible achievement. Uh, tell us about things down there at the moment. Obviously, been a tricky uh, few months and stuff, but looking forward to hopefully the next period when we can get past this. Yes, we're closed at the moment, obviously, with everybody else. And we're looking forward to opening the end of next week because we have a whole bunch of guests who are desperate to get away, get some new scenery and be able to come and enjoy the Yorkshire Dales. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. We're wishing you all the best for reopening. And that fire looks amazing. You look amazing. Congratulations, guys. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, well, there you go. Our first winners of this evening. How absolutely fantastic is that? And the technology worked. Yes, it did. But there's plenty more <laughs> of that to come. So I'll reserve judgment until the end of the evening. Uh, now, our arts and culture institutions are facing incredible challenges right now. But we know they will be back bigger and better than ever as there really are some world-beating organisations in the county. And you can see this in the calibre of these White Rose Award finalists. Judges looked at how they all engage with visitors, how they've reached new audiences, 
countries and the contribution they make to the local economy, diversity, continuity, and a lasting legacy. Let's see the finalists in the Arts and Culture Award, sponsored by Production Park. Freedom Festival Arts Trust, Hull. Harewood House Trust, Leeds. Huddersfield Literature Festival. Hull Libraries, The Big Malarkey Festival. Carla Sangam Bradford. Selby District Council, Selby 950. The Stephen Joseph Theatre, Scarborough. Yorkshire Sculpture International. Some absolutely first class visual and performance arts there, but who are this year's winners? The Bronze Award goes to Selby District Council, Selby 950. And the Silver Award goes to Harewood House Trust. But who is the winner of the 2020 Gold White Rose Arts and Culture Award sponsored by Production Park? Let's take a look. It's a huge congratulations to the Stephen Joseph Theatre. <laughs> From their innovative approach to accessibility and inclusivity, the rave reviews and so much more, this business truly impressed the judges. They said, the great online and social media presence, international profile and a real commitment to engaging the local community is what, for us, makes the Stephen Joseph Theatre such a worthy winner. OK, let's catch up with our winners of the second award this evening from the Stephen Joseph Theatre. Ah! Hello. Who have we got there? I'm Caroline. I'm the executive director. Caroline, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm delighted um, on behalf of the Stephen Joseph Theatre. It's an absolutely amazing achievement, isn't it? You know, especially, obviously, this was pre-COVID, but still. How have things been for you this year? Um, interesting. Um, I don't think you expect to close the theatre for as many months as we have, but um, we have been blown away by the support of our audiences and the communities that we work with. We managed to get back open again in the autumn before closing again. And um, we're still in rehearsals for our Christmas show, which we hope opens when we come out of lockdown next year. So it's been interesting, but, but we're getting through it. Well, look, congratulations on the award and congratulations on uh, over the uh, lockdown period, really nailing the Zoom background <laughs> because that's, uh, that, that's perfectly framed and everything. So thank you. Uh, congratulations. There you go. Our second winner of this evening. Absolutely brilliant. Two awards in already. Can you believe it? Already. Exactly. Yes. Now, what a challenging year it's been for the entrance in this next category. But when we can once again get away for the night, which is your favourite place to stay? This award recognises truly exceptional bed and breakfasts, the backbone of the Yorkshire tourism industry. Here are the finalists for the B&B &B and Guest House of the Year Awards, sponsored by Out of Eden. Brickfields Farm, Kirby Moorside. Cawthorn House, Pickering. Orchard Lodge, Scarborough. So some lovely places to stay there, but who's come out on top? Let's start with the Bronze Award. And that Bronze Award goes to... <laughs> Cawthorn House. Uh, the Silver Award goes to... Orchard Lodge. But there is just one gold winner. Sponsored by Out of Eden, let's have a look at where the White Rose Award is going. I mean, you may have already worked out. I have no idea what out. this could possibly be. <laughs> Congratulations to Brickfield Farm. 
A truly excellent entry from this passionate business. The judges were wowed by the amazing breakfast and commitment of the staff who even grow micro salad. With dedication, exemplary stewardship and forward thinking plans, they're excited to see how this business will develop next. Well, let's have a little chat with our winners. Oh, oh look! look. <laughs> oh, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much. We're God. so honoured. Gobsmacked. <laughs> oh, you're really emotional. Tell me why this means so much. <laughs> yeah, so well, we're thrilled, absolutely thrilled. And we're honoured because we're so new into this business. We come from a health background. Um, but we couldn't have done this with all of our, without all of our staff. Our staff are amazing. And unfortunately, they can't be with us, obviously, oh, tonight, but hopefully some of, us will, some of them are watching, yeah. so thank you to everybody. Uh, you've got a spread to be envious of there. It's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I need to ask you, how, how, uh, how micro is this micro salad? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, we grow it on the, um, the, the window sills. Oh, OK, yeah. fantastic. So, so it's very micro, yeah. <laughs> very micro. Well, look, a huge congratulations to you. We will not keep you any longer yeah. away from your bottle of uh, bubbly, which you've got there, which needs popping open in style. <laughs> Have yourself a great Thank evening you. and congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So Excellent, there you go. Um, lovely stuff. Now, as well as a great place to visit, Yorkshire is a wonderful place to work and do business when we can once again welcome people from outside the county. This next category recognises venues with an excellent grasp of the market, clear plans for the future, and who exceeded clients' expectations. Let's take a look at the finalists for Business Events Venue of the Year, sponsored by Ask the Office. McCure Barnsley Tankersley Manor. McCure Sheffield Parkway. The Grand York. Lakeside Conference Centre, part of the York Biotech Campus. I'm seeing a lot of pictures of food tonight, so I know. Far, by the way. It's <laughs> making me a, a bit pain. Yeah, it looks so good. <laughs> but who is taking home the gong tonight? In third place, the Bronze Award goes to. <laughs> McCure Barnsley Tankersley Manor. In second place, the Silver Award goes to. Lakeside Conference Centre, part of York Biotech Campus. And that, of course, leaves us with the winner of the Gold 2020 White Rose Award Business Events Venue of the Year, sponsored by Ask the Office. Congratulations to the Grand York. This stunning five-star hotel continues to wow, never resting on its laurels and always continuing to show innovation despite its pedigree. Never staying still, it's always leading the way on the next big project. A great business venue. So uh, let's talk to our winners this evening. There we go, our winner. Uh, could he, who have we got there? Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Simon Mann. I'm the general manager at the Grand York. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. I'm very sorry that I'm not in black tie like so many others. <laughs> My apologies for that, but I am wearing trousers, so it's <laughs> a good start. And you've got and... your pink badge on as well. <laughs> yeah, we're feeling great. Thank you so much for the award. And it, it's a, you know, a real credit to the team and to the property. And we're, we're so delighted because everybody that's been nominated has got a fantastic product. So, so thank you. Well, it's, it's absolutely well-deserved, and though we'll never be able to prove the trouser situation <laughs> one way or another, and we're not asking, by the way, uh, we do wish you a huge congratulations to everyone there in the team, and well done to you. Thanks. Well done, everybody else. Cheers now. Fantastic stuff. So there you go. That is, that's the first chunk of awards, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's time for a quick comfort break. Crikey, that's gone fast. <laughs> <laughs> and, to, you can, so, and you can top up your drinks. Although maybe I should probably not have a drink. No, we'll, we'll have a quick one. <laughs> and grab some snacks. But stay with us as we've got loads more amazing awards and Yorkshire prizes to be won. We'll also be hearing the latest song from Hollyoaks actress Bethany Hare.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Grace, and I'm a director at Red Sky Films for Regions. Congratulations to all of the finalists in this year's White Rose Awards 2020. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing you all in person in 2021. Thank you. Out of Eden have over 27 years' experience supplying the hospitality industry. From bedding to biscuits, toiletries to towels, you can choose from an extensive range of products to provide your guests with a great stay. Visit our website or call our friendly team today. One of the main things we liked about working with the Cumberland is actually you're working with a, a person rather than just sort of calling up a call centre and, and being lost as a number. You know, our meeting was over coffee, it was pleasant, it was a chat and it was kind of practical. We could explain the issues we were having and we could find solutions to them quite straightforward really. Join us at the Yorkshire Event Centre and Showground for the Barnstorm Motor Festival 2021, a celebration of the past, present and future of the automotive industry. You can get your tickets at www.barnstormmotorevents.com.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2020 White Rose Awards. Hi everyone at the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards. It's Bethany Hare here from Leeds, or some of you may know me from Hollyoaks or from Singing because I've sang at quite a few events around Leeds. It's an absolute honour to be able to share my song with you all tonight. Um, it's called This Is Not A Love Song, so I hope you like it. Have an amazing night celebrating all things Yorkshire and a massive, massive congratulations to everyone that's won an award tonight. And um, yeah, so have an amazing night celebrating. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to part two of the White Rose Awards. What a fantastic song. That was great, wasn't it? So good. Absolutely brilliant. A very big thank you to Bethany. Right, lots more uh, heading your way. We've got to do some celebrating with lots of awards coming up for you. So uh, please do continue to donate to Yorkshire Cancer Research as well. We also have some amazing Yorkshire prizes, so don't go anywhere. And don't forget to share your picks. Uh, we've got the hashtag WRA2020. Plenty of stuff coming in for us. There is, yeah. Keep them coming. But first of all, over to another very glamorous special guest. Well, hello to you all at the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards. It's Amanda Owen here at Raven Seat Farm. And what a fantastic evening. Now, you're going to have to excuse me because I've just popped out between popping the fizz. I'm out here checking up on the gang. Yes, I'm out here in the stable with... Two of the stars of our Yorkshire farm, Tony the Pony and Little Joe. 
and yes, maybe I'm feeling a little hoarse this evening, but all's good. Now, I am absolutely blown away by the amazing work of all of the finalists, and that's from someone who is no stranger to being blown away up on these hills, believe me. And there are some exceptional businesses to be celebrated in this next section. So let's get back to the awards. And for me, Tony the Pony and Little Joe, have a fabulous night all. Well, thank you, Amanda Owen and Tony the Pony and Little Joe. I felt like we had a, a pretty good set here tonight until I saw that, and I think Amanda's got probably the better set up. But ours is pretty good. It's pretty good, but not but quite as good as hers. And she lifestyle. looks amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, she's such an inspiration. All those children and those animals. <laughs> Nine children, wow, and for some more inspiration, this next category saw a boom over the summer as many of us embraced the great outdoors when COVID restrictions were relaxed. A huge growth sector in the Yorkshire tourism industry, as you'll see from the lineup of finalists. A staple of the great British getaway, who are the finalists for the Camping, Glamping and Holiday Park of the Year Awards sponsored by Yorkshire Cancer Research? Our nominees, Brompton Lakes, Richmond. Catgill Farm, Camping and Luxury Glamping, Bolton Abbey. Cogill Holiday Park, Cottage and Mill, Osmondthorley. High Oaks Grange, Pickering. Peaks and Pods, Rathmull. The Private Hill, Acklam. Wellswood Caravan and Camping Park at Rother Valley County Park, Sheffield. Wigwam Holidays, Sedgewell Barn, Ainderby Steeple. And who are the winners in this hotly contested category? Let's start with the Bronze Awards. And that goes to Catgill Farm Camping and Luxury Glamping. Our silver award this evening is for Brompton Lakes. But there can only be one White Rose Award winner. Let's have a look who's going to receive the gold award for the Camping, Glamping and Holiday Park of the Year sponsored by Yorkshire Cancer Research. And the winner is High Oaks Grange. In one of the largest, and thanks to the outstanding quality of entries, highly contested categories, High Oaks wowed the judges with the time and effort they put into their business, their continued investment, great website, social media and rave reviews. They loved it so much, they want to stay there. Praise indeed. Right, let's have a talk to our winners. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us? We couldn't quite hear you there, but let's just check. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Nick. I'm from High Oaks Grange at Pickering. Can you hear me? Oh, we're, you're very quiet. He's very quiet. But you said it was Nick. I, I, Nick, I'm not going to lie. Oh, hello. We've yeah. moved a microphone. Try again. Oh, I can't oh, believe it. <laughs> Has somebody ruined your microphone? <laughs> can. can you hear us? Because we can hear we can hear a bit of you. <laughs> Just go like this again. Yay! Oh my God. Yeah, I mean it's okay. not like yeah. we could sort of hear you. I kind of half thought you might be in that hot tub to be quite honest with you, but never <laughs> hey look well, well we're gonna say a massive congratulations to you and we think you would have probably said something like this is great and we're really happy. <laughs> um but we can't quite hear you, so we'll just give you There you Yay! go. <laughs> See, I told you that's what I was going to say. Congratulations, uh, another one of our winners tonight. I told you we got too excited about the Zoom working We properly. did, we did. There you go. <laughs> this is so 2020 right now. Yeah. Um, this next award was a new category last year, but one which is becoming more and more important to us, each and uh, every one of us, uh, as the years go by. The judges were looking for businesses working hard to protect our precious planet. Let's look at the finalists for the Ethical, Responsible and Sustainable Tourism Award, sponsored by Biffa. 
Burt's Barrow Hillam. National Centre for Birds of Prey, Helmsley. Hotel Rendezvous, Skipton. Stillingfleet Lodge, Stillingfleet Lodge Gardens, York. The Devonshire Arms Hotel and Spa. So who will be taking home the prize for this very important category? In third place, the bronze goes to Hotel Rendezvous Skipton. And the silver prize goes to the Devonshire Arms Hotel and Spa. Right then, who's going to take home the gold White Rose Award for Ethical, Responsible and Sustainable Tourism sponsored by Biffa? Try getting that on a trophy. <laughs> Congratulations to the National Centre for Birds of Prey. The impressive work with the breeding programme at the Birds of Prey Centre captivated the judges. They said it's as fascinating as it is successful, with many more exciting developments still to come. The judges also praised the high level of top-rated reviews and engagement from what they said is an exemplary, ethical and sustainable business. Right, let's see if we can uh, hook up with our winners this evening. There we go, congratulations. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Good uh, evening. Who, who have we got there? Who have we got? I'm Charlie, I'm the director of the centre. This is Will next to me, who's my son, and Vicky, who is the catering manager and another director too. Fantastic, congratulations to you. What an amazing achievement. You must be just over the moon with this. I'm absolutely staggered by the whole thing. It's, this is a story of a very special vulture who was bred right here at the National Centre for Birds of Prey here in Yorkshire, taken in September last year to Sardinia, and he's right now living as a wild griffin vulture flying over the mountains of Sardinia. The story continues. We're successful breeding another vulture again this year, who unfortunately can't go for release because we can't get to Sardinia this year, but next year we'll be back out there. Absolutely. Huge congratulations to you all. I mean, that is such an amazing achievement and we can't wait to see what you do next in 2021. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much and kudos to Welcome to Yorkshire for continuing to hold this event. Uh, no oh, problem at all. Thank yay. you. Uh, <laughs> we had to have a big cheer then, guys. Absolutely. Come if you on. want to make yourself really popular on a Zoom call, um, <laughs> just say that. Yeah, now in normal times, we all know just how much there is to do in Yorkshire. The county's diversity is one of its biggest strengths. So this is another tough and brilliantly varied category. Here are the finalists for the Experience of the Year, sponsored by Adaptiville. Uh, our nominees, Hotham's Gin School and Distillery, Leeds and Hull. Leeds Cookery School. The Bloody Tour of York. The Cookery School at the Grant, York. Wensleydale Railway. And your tours, Harrogate. Let's start off, as always, with the bronze winner for the experience of the year, and that award goes to... The Bloody Tour of York. Our silver award goes to... Leeds Cookery School. But there can only be one winner of the gold 2020 White Rose Award Experience of the Year, sponsored by Adaptiville. It's Hotham's Gin School and Distillery. A really tough category for the judges, but it's gold for the second year for Hotham's. Still a fairly new business, it just keeps going from strength to strength. They've recently opened a second branch. Judges called it progressive and a hugely attractive business, 
with countless personal touches on the tour, making it a first-class experience. Right, let's have a chat with our winners. Hi, guys. Congratulations. Hello, thank you. Uh, who, who have we got on the screen? Do you want to introduce yourselves to everybody? Yeah, I'm Simon. I'm one half of Hoffman's, and um, the glamorous half of Hoffman's is my partner, Emma. <laughs> oh, stop putting yourself down. You look lovely uh, <laughs> yeah. th this evening. Well, look, congratulations. This is a fantastic award. As you said, a relatively new business as well. And in these... These times that we find ourselves uh, in the moment as well. Gin helps, I guess. Absolutely, yes. Well, more about gin later on, I think. <laughs> you were very quick to answer then. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about what this award means to you. Uh, it's just the boost we need. We opened our Leeds Gin School on the weekend before lockdown, lockdown number one. So it's been a very challenging year of starts and restarts and cleaning and more cleaning and changes and taking tables and stills out. It's been really challenging, so it's a great boost. I guess if you, can, if you can get through this past period, then you can probably get through anything looking forward as well. Well, fingers crossed. Absolutely. Well, uh, congratulations, guys. An incredible achievement. Uh, well done on your award this evening. Thank you. Not a problem at all. There you go. Another... Uh, another glamorous Zoom call as well this evening. It's good to see that everyone's like, you know, I love how zoomy up. everyone is. Yeah, I think that <laughs> I feel like uh, if you don't end up on the Zoom call, you just rip your bow tie off and then just uh, get changed into trackies. <laughs> uh, now, anyone who's locked down with kids has probably never done as much cooking and washing up in their lives while smiling through gritted teeth. <laughs> uh, it's never ending, isn't it? And it's been tough. We all just wish probably we could get away for a night with someone else doing all the cooking and looking after us for once. That's what we need. Uh, I can tell you, I wouldn't mind being locked down in any of these places. Here are the nominees for Large Hotel of the Year, sponsored by Red Sky. Grantley Hall near Ripon. The Coniston Hotel, Country Estate and Spa, Skipton. The Grand York. The White Hart Hotel, Harrogate. The Yorkshire Hotel, Harrogate. So who is taking home the Bronze Award? It's the Grand York. And the Silver Award goes to... The Yorkshire Hotel. OK, who's going to win this then? The 2020 Large Hotel of the Year Gold White Rose Award, sponsored by Red Sky. It is Grantley Hall. The judges were wowed by the impressive performance and massive market impact of this hotel, which opened just 18 months ago. Stunning facilities, excellent qualities, and with clear strategic future plans, a truly forward-thinking business and a great employer too, with exemplary staff development. A true five-star winner. Absolutely brilliant. Let's see if we can uh, hook up on Zoom with our winners this evening. There we go. Press escape or double click to edit full screen <laughs> mode. Um, <laughs> how are we doing that? Who have we got there? Uh, hi, Andrew, the general manager. Andrew, congratulations. What a brilliant award. It's just a stunning, stunning place yeah. and uh, really well deserved. Yeah. How are you feeling in general about this, the whole of 2020? I mean, this must be a massive boost for you. Yes, without a doubt. 2020 has been really, really, really tough. Again, I'd like to just say thanks to Welcome to Yorkshire um, for carrying on with this awards. Um, it gives us that PR hook to you know, keep everybody interested. Um, uh, let's open and in enjoy Christmas. Uh, after that champagne, which one of those bottles are you going to be celebrating with afterwards then? I can see there's quite the selection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Take your pick. <laughs> I mean, I thought we had the best Zoom uh, background of the evening, but I think you might as well, might have just uh, topped that one. Congratulations to you and everyone at Grantley Hall. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. There you Cheers. go. Thank you very much. Raising a glass, rightly so as well. <laughs> now, whether it's indoors or outdoors, the variety of things to do for tourists heading to Yorkshire is just 
huge. The next category is for the very best of businesses and organisations who provide entertainment, interest or even education to their visitors. Here are the finalists for the 2020 Large Visitor Attraction of the Year, sponsored by Engage Outdoor Media. Cannon Hall Farm in Barnsley. Castle Howard, York. Harewood House Trust in Leeds. Jorvik Viking Centre, York. Wensleydale Creamery in Horse. York Maze. Well, this really is a tough category. So many wonderful attractions. A pretty perfect action-packed week visiting all of those if you fancy. But who are our winners? Let's start with the bronze award. And that goes to... <laughs> Cannon Hall Farm. The silver award goes to... Wensleydale Creamery. But there's just one winner of the Gold White Rose Award for Large Visitor Attraction of the Year, sponsored by Engage Outdoor Media. Congratulations to Harewood House Trust. The judges said this was simply a compelling entry, packed with detail about their journey and long-term investment. Standing out for its great commitment to transparency, sustainability and enriching the local community, it's made substantial improvements across the business with a major rebrand and excellent contemporary website. It's a top quality visitor attraction. Right, let's have a little catch up with our winners. Hi there, congratulations. Hello, thank you. Tell me, who do we have here? I'm Jane Marriott. I'm director of Howard House Trust and hugely relieved. When we won silver at the Arts and Culture Award, I thought that might be it. So I really do appreciate this. I think our team are going to be absolutely delighted after all the work this year. Oh, congratulations. I mean, we spent a lot of time there in the summer with the family. We were there mm -hmm. yesterday, actually. It's such a fantastic place. The stuff you've done over the last few months to adapt it mm -hmm. and to make it child friendly and all that. The lights you've got up there at the moment and the trees, it just looks fantastic. Thank you. It's, it's just such a challenge, but such a delight at the same time. You know, we're a museum and we're a zoo and we're beautiful gardens and landscape. And you're constantly reimagining what the country house should look like now to really make a difference to people's lives. So it's lovely to hear that. And I hope every single person watching this will be able to come and join us as we celebrate Christmas. Well, hopefully they will. And I hope that you're going to be able to have a really good WhatsApp now with all, all of your staff and the people that work with you and, and raise a glass. So congratulations. Thank you very much. There you oh. go. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so I can't believe already we're around <laughs> halfway through the awards now and it's time for another quick little break. You can have a little top up if you fancy, but make sure you are back in time because we will be back. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about what they're going to say, to be honest with you. I've seen them live before. Uh, Yorkshire comedians Pete Emmett and Lee Roberts coming up very shortly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Grace, and I'm a director at Red Sky Performance Solutions. Congratulations to all of the finalists in this year's White Rose Awards 2020. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing you all in person in 2021. Thank you. Out of Eden have over 27 years' experience supplying the hospitality industry. From bedding to biscuits, toiletries to towels, you can choose from an extensive range of products to provide your guests with a great stay. Visit our website or call our friendly team today. One of the main 
things we liked about working with the Cumberlands, actually, you're working with a, a person rather than just sort of calling up a call centre and, and being lost as a number. You know, our meeting was over coffee, it was pleasant, it was a chat, and it was kind of practical. We could explain the issues we were having and we could find solutions to them quite straightforward, really. Join us at the Yorkshire Event Centre and Showground for the Barnstorm Motor Festival 2021, a celebration of the past, present and future of the automotive industry. You can get your tickets at www.barnstormmotorevents.com. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome back to the Welcome to Yorkshire 2020 White Rose Awards with Natalie Anderson and Rich Williams. But first... Uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us live here in Halifax. We are live here in the plush surroundings of the Peace Hall, the stunning Peace Hall in Halifax. It's minus four degrees. <laughs> and I'm here with my best mate, Lee Roberts. Just want to say as well, Lee... What an honour to be asked to be absolute part of the pleasure. White Rose Awards. Well, absolute pleasure. I'd prefer to come in July, though, or maybe <laughs> August. But, but, yeah, pleasure. Hey, pleasure we've got some good bands on next year here as well, so if you're not doing all it, get down Halifax I'm here to the Peace Hall. I'm actually coming here to watch uh, Niall Rogers, actually. Uh, so, looking forward to that. So. Good man. He'll do, he'll do anything for a free ticket with Lee Roberts as well. <laughs> I tell you what, ladies and gents, I've got to say as well, very unusual list. Normally, me and Lee, we work on the circuit, on the comedy circuit, the after-dinner circuit. We'd be in front of a live audience. This is a whole new experience for me and Lee, speaking to total strangers on a computer <laughs> in an evening. Oh, well, that's what I've told my wife anyway. How about yourself, Lee? Uh, to be fair, I don't have normally have anybody in the audience anyway, so this is quite, <laughs> uh, it's quite good for me, is this? I'm There's two people. <laughs> I'm generally hearing snoring by this stage. It's quite good, is this? This is one of my best gigs I'm of all time. There's two of them and they haven't left yet. <laughs> happy days indeed, happy days. But putting a suit on as well, you're, you're looking trim, mate. What, what are you up to nowadays? Obviously, you were doing cruises, going around the world. What, what are you doing oh, now? I've, I've had enough of that, so I'm uh, doing a bit of landscape gardening now. Happy days. Yeah, mixing cement and digging holes, it's fantastic. Yeah, you're enjoying that. Is it better than going to, like, Monte Carlo and oh, things? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world, Pete, yeah. I tell you what, your, your suit fits you. I was struggling a little bit to get my suit on after eight months of sitting at home eating and that, but I'm doing all right, really, and... I'll be honest with you, ladies and gents, putting a suit on after eight months, it felt quite special as well. Obviously, with the courts being closed for the past eight months, I've not had to go. All my trials have been online, so happy days indeed, isn't it, really? But how are you getting on? Because I've got to say to you, Lee, as well, and I think everybody watching this tonight will probably agree with me. It's testing times, it's difficult on your relationships, oh. difficult on your marriage. Yeah. I, I've, I've really struggled to tell you the truth. I've been getting on my wife's nerves with simple <laughs> things, you know, just like breathing well, I, oh, at the moment. How's things with you and the family? Uh, not so good, to be honest, Pete, although with homeschooling didn't help, did it? That's tough, isn't it? Homeschooling. I, I think it must be a Yorkshire thing, because she, she did something wrong the other week, and uh, she, she's only 13. And my wife said to me, she, she must be a Yorkshire, she said, Lee, you need to tell her. I said, what? She went, just tell her. So my daughter's called Ruby. I went, Ruby. She went, what? I said, I'm telling you. She said, what? I said, I've told you. <laughs> I said, I won't tell you again. I've told you once. And then the wife said to me, I'm sick of telling her, but nobody actually said anything. I don't... <laughs> That's what you actually, you actually do that with <laughs> you your kids, yeah. don't you, as well? But I know you're dead proud of your kids as well. Mine are a little bit older than Lee's. Um, eight months of not knowing what... what Everybody in the tourism industry will probably know where I'm coming from. We've had no work at all in the entertainment industry and we worry about jobs. For me, personally, it's been a good few months because my son, our Kieran, I never expected this to happen. He actually landed a job and I'm probably the proudest person speaking at the moment because my son, our Kieran, has got a job, believe it or not, as a barrister. Well, I get, Lee, I can't get my head round oh, it. And fantastic, if any of you nice fantastic. people do come across to the Peace Hall and you go to Lofa's coffee shop over there, it'll be our Kieran that will be serving you. <laughs> He's done very well for himself. The brightest person in our house. But that, that doesn't say much, to be honest. But uh, this award, it, it, it is incredible, and we're just having a little bit of a laugh, but I just want to say, probably a lot of you are sat there praying that you win the award, and I really hope that it's a successful evening for you, yeah, because definitely. if you do win it, it's very well deserved. If you've been nominated, even if you don't win, in our eyes, you are a winner. It's something to be very proud of. It's just that you're not quite as good as the one. Yeah, I'm going to say, my dad used to say that to and me that, when yeah, I was yeah. at school. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's about taking it's, part. It's the taking part. It's taking part. But no, it's the nice good about thing, winning. the good thing for those if they're being nominated, but they don't take take the big prize. You don't have to look across at the table because we can't be there with a live audience. You don't have to look across at their table, flash them a day. To be fair, Pete, this is a good time to finish runner-up, isn't it? It is, actually, as well, be because you could just turn the awards off, go in your kitchen, get a bottle of Prosecco and pretend Happy they, days. they haven't happened. Um, exactly. Is that good advice, that? It, yeah, yeah. It probably yeah. isn't, really, is it? Freezing. Absolutely. Can you it's, hear me? It's absolutely cold. I've put this, I've only put that on to try and generate some warmth <laughs> in the area of you. I it's, have, yeah. It, Sorry, socially. I, I have actually been warmer, if I'm being honest, Lee. I, I have. But um, it's got them to look after us here. Give me a, a, a duffel jacket. 
<laughs> they do them in your really size, warm. you know, if you want one. And you look like the nook of the north. You look quite comfortable in that, and you've got your gloves on. Uh, do you know, yeah, I was thinking, just, just thinking back to being a kid and coming in here in peace all... Uh, like, we grew up together, didn't we? We were in Boys Brigade yeah. and stuff like that. And I don't know about you, but so, something that's, I'd have had a bit of a flashback. Halifax Swimming Baths, it's just over that way, and we used to go there when we were kids. It's yeah. called New Baths, you know. New Baths, yeah. It's still called New Baths now, built in 1967. Yeah, yeah they built it in 1967, they call it the New Baths, Baths. Of, of Halifax, that's right. And yeah. There's no point changing it, is well, there? No. I used to like going to New Baths, I used to have that sign. No, no bombing. <laughs> so what did you <laughs> no, do? No petting. Yeah. No petting. I had no chance of petting. No, no peeing in pool. No, no. No peeing in pool. Is that when you took your... I once got done over there and he said, no peeing in the pool. And he shouted that loud and nearly fell in. <laughs> Honestly. If you've not been to the Peace Hall, it is absolutely unbelievable. The shops all the way around, there's bars. Yeah, hopefully we'll really enjoy shops. it this time, yeah, Pete. Hopefully, yeah. Brilliant. Loads yeah. of little gifts. Let's support local businesses and let's Definitely. get everybody back on the map. Definitely. Um, they've got stuff here that money cannot buy, and I've managed to get my wife a Christmas present already. She'd be made up. You could <laughs> not get you could not get these back in March. I've got her a bit of a toilet roll. Yeah. These are gold dust at the moment, so hopefully she'll be made up with that as well. Uh, listen, enjoy the rest of your night. Take me care, and, everybody. From me and Lee, we're so proud to be part of this, and we really are. And congratulations to everyone. Have a brilliant evening. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Eh? Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome back. A big thank you to P. Emma and Lee Roberts. Calderdale comedians brightening up 2020. And come on, we do all need a laugh. They did have a good point about not having to see the people that win if you were nominated. Yeah, they did. We could bring them all on the Zoom screen. Then they'd still have to go through that facial expression, wouldn't they? Yeah, but now you're overcomplicating Fine, it. Fine, we won't. No, we, won't <laughs> we definitely won't overcomplicate it. Well, I hope that you've all had a little top up in the break. Please do keep your donations coming in to Yorkshire Cancer Research. And remember, we have some amazing Yorkshire prizes. So don't forget to share your photos using hashtag WRA2020. But before we celebrate some more legendary Yorkshire tourism businesses, let's see which celebrity guest is joining us now. And it's just what the doctor ordered. Hi, a big hello to everyone at the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards. Dr. Amir Khan here. No, not the boxer, or not like the guy who delivered my Amazon parcel today thought uh, the Bollywood actor, neither of them, just a regular NHS uh, GP. But, uh, you know, I work for the NHS. I know how hard it's been over the last year, especially for you guys in tourism. But it's so, so good to see so many impressive Yorkshire finalists and winners tonight. Now, I'm having a drink with you all, even though I'm not there. Mm. But not too much because I have to be up early tomorrow to get back on Good Morning Britain and Lorraine. So actually, you are keeping me awake. <laughs> so there are some really impressive, brilliant businesses to be celebrated in the next section. So let's get back to the awards. Uh, but before I go, and because I'm a doctor, I have to say, remember to wash your hands, keep your distance and wear a face covering where possible. And hopefully next year I will be there with you. And if we can get on the dance floor, I can teach you how to do a bit of uh, Bangra. It's my specialist move. See you next year and congratulations, everyone. Uh, so there you go, something to look forward to, a specialist move, bit of Bangra. Uh, next year, which will be excellent. Thank you, Dr. Amir Khan, and thank you to all the wonderful NHS staff doing such a fantastic job during such uh, unprecedented and uncertain times as well. We really do appreciate it. Now, we all know Yorkshire is synonymous with tradition and quality, but we're also forward-thinking inventors and innovators, and this next award honours those who are out there pushing things forward, opening new businesses. Here are the nominees for the 2020 New Tourism Business Award, sponsored by York City Nights. Galtrees Lodge Hotel and Forest Restaurant, York. Grantley Hall near Ripon. The Bay Horse Inn, Goldsborough. High Oaks Grange, Pickering. The Private Hill, Acklam. Waleswood Caravan and Camping Park at Rother Valley Country Park. 
Some really brilliant new businesses there and I'm sure we'll be hearing much more from all of them in the future. But who are this year's winners? The Bronze Award in the 2020 New Business category goes to... Private Hill. The Silver Award goes to... Walesward Caravan and Camping Park at Wather Valley Country Park. But there can only be one winner of the Gold and New Tourism Business of the Year White Rose Award, sponsored by York City Night. So let's find out who it is. It is a second gold of the night for Grantley Hall. The judges all agreed that Grantley Hall was a clear winner, attracting people not just from the UK, but all over the world, which is great for Yorkshire, putting Yorkshire on the international stage. Customer is at the heart of everything they do, whoever that customer is, and they engage with the local community, a beautiful building so tastefully restored to its former glory, impressive, impeccable restaurants, a fabulous nightclub, stunning rooms, a spectacular spa. So many standout features. Okay, let's see if we can hop back for the second time <laughs> yes. this evening. And the first thing we will do is do an immediate stock check count on how much <laughs> of that whiskey has already gone. We'd like to see the levels where they were at and where they're at now, please. Well, it's going well. down. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations again. I mean, how are you feeling? Oh, that's amazing. I mean, that's just incredible. To win two awards tonight uh, is, well, it's, it's phenomenal. I think it's a great testament to my team. Um, both awards, um, of course, rep yeah, represent uh, the best of what Yorkshire can offer, but it is my team that do deliver it day in, day out. Tell us about that team, because they must have been incredibly resilient over mm -hmm. the last few months. Uh, just, just talk us through who you got there and, and what a fantastic job they're doing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I think I, I, I speak probably for the majority of us, um, uh, we've been off and on a furlough. Um, uh, luckily, those businesses that have been in the countryside, we've had a bit of a boost. Um, so we went from being absolutely closed to being absolutely full. Um, uh, and the team have, have, have really tried hard to deliver um, a, a brilliant experience for everybody who comes through the door. Well, we wish you the very, very best and have an amazing Christmas period too. We're keeping all our fingers crossed for you. Absolutely, indeed. Thank you. Again, thank you ever so much. That's been brilliant news. Thank you. Thank Excellent you. stuff. Take another, care. another double winner tonight. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, you'll find some of the best produce in the world right here in Yorkshire and also some of the best creative brains to turn those into brilliant products. This category recognises the very best artisan food and drink as well as art and crafts. It's aimed at smaller, independent Yorkshire businesses and the judges were looking for creativity and consistent quality. Let's take a look at the nominees for the Producers and Makers Award, sponsored by Dakota. Bullion Chocolate, Sheffield. Burt's Barrow in Hillam. Cryer and Stock Cheesemongers Limited, Pontefract. Masons of Yorkshire, Leaming Bar. Rounds and Coffee Roasters, North Allerton. And the Candied Peel Cake Company, Leeds. Okay, we'll start off, as always, with the Bronze Award winner in the Producers and Makers category. It is the Candied Peel Cake Company, congratulations. And on to the Silver Awards. for Bullion Chocolates. But who is going to take home the White Rose Award Gold Trophy sponsored by Dakota? It's congratulations to Roughton Coffee Roasters. 
an excellent company with clear and well thought out strategies which are driving success and growth. Incredibly impressive ethics, supporting growers and also a great commitment to the staff team. A fantastically passionate business. Let's see if we can get hold of our winners. Hi there, congratulations. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I genuinely <laughs> am gobsmacked. I did not expect that at all. Yeah, so be grateful to the judges and um, grateful for the team. And I genuinely am speechless. Uh, well, look, it's, am speechless. it's absolutely fantastic. It's a really interesting backstory, isn't it, with, with Rounds and Coffee Roasters as well, with a trip to Indonesia. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, so... So I guess just like any any sort of business has got its its kind of story, but our story really started with with me just kind of quitting the rat race and just disappearing. Uh, I got on a train and just disappeared around the world and uh, and found myself in Sumatra and and kind of meeting a lot of these coffee farmers, spending time with them and just understanding that um, these guys really needed a, a route to market and and I sense that there was something that I could do and kind of bridge that. So so really what we've been doing since then is trying to, to provide a route to market for, for these people that are, are producing uh, good coffees. And um, and that, that seems so long ago now because our journey has just been, well, it's never stopped since we since I came back into the UK, set up Browns and Coffee. And it just seems to just gain so much more momentum time and time again. So. That's that's how it started, and um, yeah, just um, it's just so so good to be appreciated for it. Oh well, huge congratulations! Honestly, it's absolutely brilliant and thoroughly well deserved. Thank you, thank you. So there you go, another uh, another winner. This evening, absolutely fantastic. I love, love hearing all the winners' stories. Yeah, it's great. Um, one of the things we're missing most right now is uh, it's the good old Yorkshire boozer, uh, to be fair. And what a challenging time for our wonderful bars and pubs. So this next award recognises pubs making a significant contribution to tourism with quality, locally sourced food and drink. Let's look at the finalists for Pub of the Year, sponsored by Yorkshire Beer and Pub Association. The Black Bull Molten. The Carpenter's Arms Felix Kirk. The Clarendon Country Pub with Rooms Hebden. The Drover's Arms Restaurant and Country Pub Skip With. The Miller's Bar Brig House. Now for the results. The Bronze Award goes to the Clarendon Country Pub with Rooms. And silver goes to... The Miller's Bar. OK, who did our judges think deserved the top prize? The Gold White Rose Award for Pub of the Year, sponsored by Yorkshire Beer and Pub Association. A huge congratulations to the Drover's Arms Restaurant and Country Pub. A clear winner, great service, fabulous food and a fun feeling to the place. Simply a great neighbourhood pub. It's obvious how much work has gone into the new website. And there's incredible social media, posting every day on every platform. Good sustainability credentials too. It's great to see how the business continues to grow and develop. OK, so we have our winners. Let's join them on Zoom right now from the Drover's Arms Restaurant and Country Pub. Congratulations! All dressed up, hi, looking hi, good. Hi. Uh, would you like to introduce yourselves to everyone? Uh, I'm, I'm Graham, and this is Matt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I mean, were you, were you expecting this tonight? How are you feeling? I'm just, well, we've, since lockdown, it's, it's been such a challenge since March, and... We, we won um, a couple of awards during lockdown as well for Selby District um, and also with the Visit York Awards. I never thought for a minute that we'd do a hat trick. And this, I, I have to say, during what we've gone through, this is such, such a great achievement for, for us and the team. 
as much as getting Matt into the shot as well. So <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> you look brilliant there. No, it's absolutely brilliant. Congratulations to you. It has been an incredibly difficult year. So just tell us a little bit about your year. How have you found it? Oh, wow. Um, so we closed, obviously, in March with everyone else, and we sat at home and ate the contents of the house over two weeks <laughs> and thought, well, this, this can't continue for the rest of the year. So um, come Easter, we reopened for takeaway, and literally we've been so busy since Easter all the way through till almost, you know, you know just Sunday just gone. So credit to the team. They've pulled together. We've, we've really moved with the times to offer something that, you know, the local community really can, can, can buy into. Uh, very quick question before you before you go. What's your speciality dish? We need to know that. Oh my god! Uh, Shane, Shane, our head chef loves seafood, so any anything with seafood is is a winner at the Drovers. All right, great stuff. Well, Thank congratulations. You so much. Has been a tough year. You can now call it an award-winning year as well. There you go. Get your drinks. Congratulations yes. to you guys and everyone down at the Drovers Arms oh, Restaurant brilliant. and Country Pub. Love that. Oh, Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> So the next category is for self-catering accommodation. Now, there's so much to choose from in Yorkshire, whatever your budget, and there really are some excellent examples here, sponsored by Cycle England. Let's see the finalists for self-catering accommodation of the year. Broadgate Farm Cottages, Walkington. Cottage in the Dales, Laban. Grand Get-Togethers, Moulton. High Oaks Grange, Pickering. Higher Skulls Cottage Holidays, Keithley. Holly House Farm, Hudswell. OK, let's find out who the winners are. We'll start with our bronze award, and that goes to... Holly House Farm. The silver award goes to... High Oaks Grange. But who is our gold White Rose Award winner, sponsored by Cycle England? Congratulations to Grand Get Together's Moulton. A compelling entry for this grand and adventurous business. Our judges were impressed with the quality of the content of the website and how they show off properties. Molly's enthusiasm and passion shines through in this authentic family business. Truly exceptional. Recent improvements show creativity, flair and innovation. Great to see accessibility guides as a mainstream offer. With fabulous digital content, this really is in a league of its own. Right, let's have a chat with our winners. <laughs> Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, my God, we're completely overwhelmed. Oh, well, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, grand get-togethers, uh, uh, described as exceptional there, really, in, uh, in a league of your own, must be lovely to hear. Oh, it's so exciting. We've, yeah, we've entered for a couple of years and been finalists, and it's lovely to finally be the cream of the crop. Absolutely. I mean, tell us about your 2020. How, how have, challenging have you found it? It's been a nightmare. Um, <laughs> hard for all of the hospitality industry. But yeah, yeah, we'll get through it. Yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it, really? And everyone coming together at this point of the year to say, right, let's look towards 2021. And hopefully a really great year for, uh, for you guys can start with this award tonight. Yeah, it's really exciting. I think group accommodation has been so hardly hit that 2021 onwards and upwards will be, yeah, exciting. Absolutely. Well, huge congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Uh, nearly as sparkly as your dress. Yes, nearly. Nearly. With a necklace. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's now time for a final break and perhaps another glass of fizz if you fancy uh, continuing the celebrations. There is lots to look forward to in the next and final part of the White Rose Awards. We have some top businesses to be celebrated, plus an appearance and performance from Yorkshire's answer to Bing Crosby, who himself was no stranger to Yorkshire. Bing, 
was actually a visitor at York Races and on Dallow Gilmour above Ripon for a, a spot of shooting back in the day. But we can match Big Bing. Uh, he wowed <laughs> us at last year's White Rose Awards and he's back at the end of the show. We are talking about the one and only Chris Kamara. Can't wait for it. He was brill last year and we will see you after the break. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Grace and I'm a director at Red Sky Performance Solutions. Congratulations to all of the finalists in this year's White Rose Awards 2020. Good luck and we look forward to seeing you all in person in 2021. Thank you. Out of Eden have over 27 years experience supplying the hospitality industry. From bedding to biscuits, toiletries to towels, you can choose from an extensive range of products to provide your guests with a great stay. Visit our website or call our friendly team today. One of the main things we liked about working with the Cumberland is actually you're working with a person rather than just sort of calling up a call centre and being lost as a number. You know, our meeting was over coffee, it was pleasant, it was a chat and it was kind of practical. We could explain the issues we were having and we could find solutions to them quite straightforward really. Join us at the Yorkshire Event Centre and Showground for the Barnstorm Motor Festival 2021, a celebration of the past, present and future of the automotive industry. You can get your tickets at www.barnstormmotorevents.com.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's once again join the White Rose Awards and your hosts, Natalie Anderson and Rich Williams. Welcome back to the final part of the show and Yorkshire's big night in. What a brilliant set of winners we've had so far. And we've had some tweets. Uh, yes, I have a tweet here from uh, the Huddersfield Literary Festival. Hello to you guys. We're having our own virtual party at home, loving the chance to dress up, which technically you can do whenever you want. Um, <laughs> and whatever you do in the privacy of your own home is totally up to you. Yes, and from Coke Gill Campsite, we may not have won, but we still feel like winners. Congrats to all involved. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're into the final few awards. Can you believe it? Yep, but first, just a reminder to please keep your donations to Yorkshire Cancer Research coming in because we really do appreciate it. And to be in with a chance of winning some amazing Yorkshire prizes, don't forget to share your photos on Twitter using hashtag WRA2020. Remember, all our finalists are winners and in fact the whole industry deserves a massive accolade for the way it's been coping in the toughest of times as we've all had to adapt to dealing with the pandemic. There have been some real positives this year in Yorkshire, and one of them was a brand new TV series filmed in the Dales. Let's see who our next special guest is. Good evening to all you fantastic folks at the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards. Nicholas Ralph here, also known as James Herriot, your favourite Yorkshire vet, or at least one of them, I hope. Thank you so much to everyone that tuned in to All Creatures Great and Small. It was an absolute joy filming in Yorkshire. It truly is a stunningly beautiful county. The views, absolutely breathtaking. And that's coming from a guy that grew up in the highlands of Scotland, with Nessie swimming by. So. Congratulations to all the finalists tonight in the White Rose Awards. And good luck for the rest of the evening. So enjoy yourselves, grab a glass of something if you haven't already, and don't forget to tune in to All Creatures Great and Small Christmas Special. You'll absolutely love it. Cheers. Oh, well, what a nice surprise that was. I love All Creatures Great and Small. Isn't it lovely, like cosy TV viewing? I'm also that really sad person that whenever they see their own neck of the woods on the TV gets way more overexcited <laughs> than they should. Like, oh, oh, look, we're, I live near we're there. We're there, we're on the telly. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> great TV show and a really big success. So Absolutely, yeah. yeah, a huge success. And talking of big successes, but perhaps in a small package, this category recognises those perfect places to stay with fewer than 35 bedrooms. Let's check out the shortlist for Small Hotel of the Year, sponsored by Cumberland Building Society. Faversham Arms Hotel and Verbena Spa, Helmsley. Gultrees Lodge Hotel, York. Goldsborough Hall, Nairsborough. Grays Court Hotel, York. The Devonshire Fell, Burnsell. The Traddock, Ostwick. And the Wensleydale Heifer in Leyburn. Some really great hotels there and some stiff competition. Who are the winners? Let's find out. The bronze award goes to the Devonshire Fell. Our silver award is heading to... Goldtree's Lodge Hotel in York. But there is only one White Rose Gold Gong. Let's see where the award for Small Hotel of the Year, sponsored by Cumberland Building Society, is going. It's Grace Court Hotel in York. What a year for this wonderfully managed and creatively marketed hotel. A lovely site and venue with packages and personal experiences and an impressive complimentary cream tea. 
The management team do a fantastic job looking after this important historic building, rising to many challenges that, as a visitor, you never see. Oh, congratulations. Let's have a chat with our winners. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Would, would you like to introduce yourselves? Yes, I'm Helen. This is Sarah, my colleague. Um, we are just... I, this is so wonderful. Absolutely. Honestly, we're just so thrilled. Uh, absolutely. Let's not talk about the award for a second. Let's talk about this complimentary cream tea, uh, <laughs> more importantly, which sounds terrific. It's supposed to be a secret. That's the whole point. Right. Oh, oh. Well done. Well, there you go. <laughs> the, 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 the voice said it, so I just said it as well. Um, how are you guys feeling? This is a, a really great moment, I guess, to get this award at the end of life. We've been saying all night, you know, of course, a tough year. It's been, a, it's been an absolutely horrible year, uh, but... We've, we've tried to remain positive. We, we opened back in July and it was a great success. We opened our new bar in the garden, which we will continue into next year. It, it's, it's tough, but we've been doing, you know, lots of, lots of work for the hotel. We're going to open, when we open again, bigger and stronger and, and keep the faith and we'll keep going because we love what we do. Oh, absolutely. Couldn't do it without my team. No, Helen Helen lives at the hotel and also owns it and runs it and she is a force of nature. <laughs> so she cannot undersell herself enough, but she is a legend. <laughs> I can definitely see that Helen is a legend and your resilience is incredible and congratulations on your award. Thank you so, Thank you. so, so much. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Take care. There you go. Was I? Uh, was I? I wasn't supposed to mention the no, cream tea. No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> it's not in the, no, it's no. not in the script. <laughs> it's not. Don't ad lib. What are you doing that for? Uh, now we've already celebrated our larger attractions, but now for the smaller, but still perfectly formed ones. Another wonderfully diverse category with a few first-time finalists as well. So let's look at the nominees for the 2020 White Rose Award for Small Visitor Attraction of the Year, sponsored by Barnstorm Motor Events. Bolton Castle. Bradford Cathedral. Ingleborough Cave and Ingleborough Estate Nature Trail. Mother Shipton's Nairsborough. Skipton Boat Trips. Studfold Adventure Trail Loft House. World of James Herriot Thirsk. And the bronze award goes to Studfold Adventure Trail. And the silver award goes to Mother Shipton's. Okay, uh, there can only be one winner of the gold award for Small Visitor Attraction of the Year, sponsored by Barnstorm Motor Events. Let's find out who it is. It is at Bradford Cathedral. The judges said, despite the challenges a place of worship faces in engaging with a younger audience as well as the wider community, Bradford Cathedral has achieved this and more. Through a variety of creative initiatives with even more planned in the future and their engagement with social media, they continue to draw in the visitors. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Let's talk to our winners. There we go. Congratulations. Who have we got there? Hi, I'm Maggie. I'm the Director of Visitors at Bradford Cathedral. Oh, Maggie, congratulations. Absolutely fantastic. As you were hearing there, uh, really difficult for place of worship in particular over the last mm. few months, having to work out when they can open the doors. So how have you, how have you found it all? How have you adapted? We've really had to move everything online, actually. We've had to be really creative. Um, and we've sort of found new audiences. We just haven't stopped working, but we've been doing that remotely. And we're kind of full of new ideas and creativity. And we're just keeping on engaging with people as much as we can. 
and we're just so proud to represent Bradford. We really are so proud. And what does it mean to you also to win a Welcome to Yorkshire Award as well? It's amazing because it's a real recognition that over the last few years, we've tried really hard to engage with audiences. We're known as Bradford's best kept secret because lots of people in Bradford don't know where we are. So we've been really trying to kind of um, reach out to people all over. And this award will just really be make us be able to take that to the next level. We're delighted for our partners, the cathedral and the whole of Bradford. Fantastic. This time of year, some people are feeling Christmassy, some people not quite there yet. But you're a good barometer, I would say, for Bradford Cathedral. How Christmassy is Bradford Cathedral feeling just at the moment? Well, the star on the tower has been installed today. So that's going up very soon and you'll be able to see it all across the city. And that's a new thing that we've brought in last year. And it's, it's such a, a joyful thing. And we've got an online Bradvent calendar that we're launching next week. And there'll be something every day for people to kind of just to, to spread comfort and joy. That's our aim over Christmas, to spread comfort and joy in these dark times. Well, as a Yorkshire, well, as a Bradford girl, actually myself, I love the idea of the Bradvent calendar. I'm going to get one of them as well for my Nana. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Oh, brilliant stuff there uh, down at Bradford Cathedral. Yeah. Now, we all know how well we do food here in Yorkshire. Yes, we do. It's a huge part of our tourism and hospitality offer. The Casual Dining Award recognises businesses within the tourism industry which offer food, drinks and service with innovation and excellence. Let's see the finalists in this year's Taste of England Casual Dining Award sponsored by ABL Business. Devour at the Dye House in Home Firth. Truton's Farm Shop and Restaurant, South Cave. Forest, York. Keyside in Whitby. The Rattle Owl, York. Wensleydale Creamery, Horse. Uh, let's start with the Bronze Award tonight, and that goes to. Forest York, moving to the Silver Awards, which goes to Wensleydale Creamery. Some fantastic teams there, but who is taking home the gold gong? Let's see who's won the Taste of England Casual Dining Award, sponsored by ABL Business. Congratulations, the Rattle Owl! An innovative, quirky, passionate and standout restaurant with exceptional food. A family-run business which is really shining. The passion runs through the whole setup with its great accessibility and social media too. Oh, let's have a chat with our winners. Hi, congratulations! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's short. <laughs> now, introduce yourself to me. Hi, I'm Tom Hayward, the head chef of Rattle Owl. Brilliant stuff. And uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, the Rattle Owl for anyone who's uh, not sure about the gem that we're talking about this evening. Yeah, so we're a restaurant based like literally around local farmers, suppliers, everything like seasonality. And what does it mean to you to have won this award tonight? No, it's amazing. After like this year of like such a hard year of hospitality, like to win it is just like amazing, really. Okay, I was gonna. We we asked uh, anyone else involved in a restaurant. You've got to tell us a little bit about your speciality yeah. or what the uh, the top seller is down there. Just wet our appetite a bit. Well, at the moment, our speciality is rosé veal, and we actually age the carrots for about two weeks before we serve them in veal fat, um, which gives like a really good sweetness. And we just say it with carrots and veal cheek sauce. Anyone who is dedicated enough to do anything with a carrot for two weeks <laughs> uh, is, is quite impressive going. Congratulations to you and everyone at the Rattle Owl. Absolutely fantastic achievement. Thank you very much. No That's problems. Nice. Uh, there you go. So another one of a, a winner. And I, I, I'm not saying that. I'm not, Please I'm to say, say it. It says I'm supposed to say now after the, the Rattle Owl. Well, what a hoot. Yay! <laughs> 
I mean, that's just literally setting me up for a, Listen, setting me up for a fall there, isn't it? it made me feel good. As long as you feel good about <laughs> it. Uh, our final awards on the way, and I know this has been a bit of a different White Rose Awards, but... We just want to say a big thank you to all our sponsors and supporters this evening. Uh, we really do value you more than ever in these challenging times. We truly do. And if that doesn't deserve a round of applause from the people in here, then I don't know what... Thank you very much. Yes. And so our final big prize of the night. Let's see the fabulous finalists in this year's Tourism Event Award, sponsored by SGH Sporting Events. Okay, we have Banana Kick and Leeds Bid with the Leeds Jurassic Trail. Bronte Bars and Events, the Gin Express Experience on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway. Freedom Festival Arts Trust, Hull. Wakefield Rhubarb Festival. Hallow Scream at York Maze. And York Bloon Fiesta. We start with the bronze awards, and that goes to Banana Kick and Leeds Bid, the Leeds Jurassic Trail. Our silver award next, which goes to Wakefield Rhubarb Festival. Again, all fantastic teams there, but who is going to receive this evening's final gold White Rose Award Tourism Event of the Year 2020, sponsored by SGH Sporting Events? Let's see, shall we? It's Hello Scream at York Maze. The judges called this a frighteningly good event. York Maze continually reinvents with more and more things to experience, with different characters, plus an event for younger children too, who may be too frightened by the full Hallow Scream experience. An inventive business with a great and broadening audience appeal. OK, let's see our, our winners this evening. Congratulations! Who have we got there? It's Tom and Lisa. Tom and Lisa, brilliant. You don't look, uh, you look way too smart to uh, come up with something so scary. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's prepare ourselves. There we, we go. We want you to put it on. Yeah, we did. Right. <laughs> if you insist, if you insist. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening, yes. Oh, my word. Now we're talking. Yes. Absolutely brilliant. And that's why they're the winners. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> You can take it off now. <laughs> no, it's, it's probably it's fully in character now. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant for you. An incredible event as well. Uh, d again, I know we keep saying it, but it's true, isn't it? Yeah. A difficult year, you've had to adapt, but uh, you know, how are you finding things at the moment? Yeah, I mean, sadly, we, we didn't do Hello Screen this year, um, which, was, which was really sad. We've got a huge team of very passionate people behind the event. We've got over 100 actors that come back year on year. We've got a great team of uh, production staff and uh, coaches and managers. And it's, uh, yeah, we just sidelined the whole event this year. So we're just looking to come back next year bigger and stronger and, uh, and scare everyone to death if we can. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me you like that. You very want to get everybody scared and um, you've got obviously so much passion there. So you're obviously very excited for 2021. I mean, tell me, as I've asked other people, you know, what does winning a, a Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Award mean to you? It's great. I mean, it's a great reward for all the hard work that goes in, you know. It, so obviously, the, you know, we've, we've got a small team at York Maze that are there year round. We've got a huge seasonal staff and and they're really passionate. They really enjoy it. And it's just lovely to get the reward. And, uh, you know, Yorkshire's an amazing county. There's a huge depth and range of talent. And it's just lovely to be sort of not, you know, noted as one of the, the top guys. And I think you know, there were some amazing events. So congratulations to everyone else that was nominated. And uh, We'd love to welcome you all to Hallow Stream next year and, uh, and give you the fright of your lives. Uh, you, you said you have an event for kids who are too, a bit too young and a bit too scared for the Hallow Screen part of it. What about adults like me who are too scared? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That's why we, we kind of create this new event where we tone everything down a bit. The nighttime <laughs> event is really quite extreme. So we do a daytime event now, which is aimed at 
that kids between 10 and 15 and adults of a nervous disposition. So Thank you. Ideal Excellent. For yourself. Glad to be put in that category. Congratulations, Congratulations. guys. Uh, absolutely Thank brilliant. You. Well done to you. And pass our uh, congrats on to everyone at the team down there at York Mays as well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. So, that our final award, can you believe can it? Can you believe it? It's um, been such an amazing night. Yeah, huge congratulations to all our award winners, to all those with bronze and silver certificates, and to every single one of the finalists, because you are what makes Yorkshire the success story that it is. A big thank you as well to York City Knights for sponsoring the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards, and to all the fabulous businesses and organisations who also sponsored an award. Many thanks to all of our brilliant Welcome to Yorkshire members who were finalists this evening and also generously donated such fantastic prizes, which we've been giving away tonight. I am sure the lucky winners will all have an absolutely brilliant time. Uh, thank you so much to all of you who got involved registering, sending in your award picks. Do keep them coming, by the way. We've had some absolutely great ones <laughs> and ones you will regret sending in, but don't worry, we won't forward them on to anyone. Uh, we will be contacting all of tonight's competition winners as well. Yes, and please don't forget that Yorkshire Cancer Research would be extremely grateful to you if you would please consider donating if you haven't had the chance already. So uh, yeah, uh, Chris Kamara is going to be closing the show tonight. Looking forward to that. But before uh, Chris is on, please uh, uh, put, some, put your hands together to welcome to Yorkshire's James Mason, who would like to say a few words. Are we socially distancing? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Uh, Natalie Rich, thank you very much for tonight. As you said at the outset, uh, a bit unusual this year. Normally thousands of people will be con uh, congratulating each other. Uh, thanks to everyone at home as well. Uh, can't have been easy um, uh, watching um, two hours worth of uh, your computer screen, but we're used to that now, aren't we? So thanks for everything um, that you've done tonight. We really appreciate the team behind the scenes. This hasn't been easy. Um, in fact, the whole year hasn't been easy, has it, for any of us? So the real winners tonight are you that have stayed with us throughout the, the whole of the, uh, the, the year. Uh, Richard, Natalie, again, you bring sparkle to this. You bring the, you bring the, the, the pizzazz, etc. So thank you very much. Um, all I'd like to finish on is don't look towards 2021 as being something that you should uh, fear with intrepidation. Look forward it to be exciting. Look forward to something that can demonstrate Yorkshire in all its diversity and all its best that it's got to offer. Thanks for tonight, everyone. You've been brilliant. My team are fantastic, depleted in numbers, but not many of them are here tonight because they've not been able to, but it's been brilliant. Well done. Keep going. As Winston Churchill famously said, if you're going through hell, keep going. It's only going to get better, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Natalie. Thank you. Uh, and thank you, James, as well, for your words at the end. We know it's been different. It's been a little it's bit different, different this year. <laughs> uh, but we wanted to do it. And thanks so much for joining us for the UK's biggest tourism awards. We hope you have enjoyed Yorkshire's big night in. If you're wanting to carry on your own party, check out the White Rose Awards Spotify tunes in the link above this stream, which is possibly the most 2020 sentence I've ever said. But not just yet, because we have a top <laughs> treat coming up for you right now. Yes, last year he entertained us all at the White Rose Awards with songs from his brand new album, Here's to Christmas. Fast forward to tonight and he is back. Go on, do it. Unbelievable. There we go, yes. <laughs> with another album just out called And a Happy New Year. We certainly hope it is after 2020. It's everybody's favourite Mr. Christmas. Thank you. Uh, here to entertain all of you in true Chris Kamara style, it's the Yorkshireman himself. Over to you, Chris. What a great night we had this time last year at the Welcome to Yorkshire White Rose Awards at the first Direct Arena in Leeds. And despite what 2020 has thrown at us, we are determined to have another great night tonight. So congratulations to all of you who have been nominated and especially to all the worthy winners. It may have been a tricky year, but it's not all bad news. So can I say well done to everyone who has made the best of the current situation. On that note, I've used some of my time working on a brand new Christmas album and it's called And A Happy New Year. I'm going to play you the video with the iconic Roy Wood featuring. It's a cover of his classic Christmas song, I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day. You all know it, so let's get dancing and singing. Okay, Roy, take it. Uh, so there you go. A big thank you to Chris Kamara. Isn't Chris Kamara absolutely brilliant? Absolutely. Um, uh, to everyone for joining us tonight and the whole team who've put this on this evening. I know it's still November. Is it, is it too early to say it? No, definitely we go not. For it? Let's. All right. Let's.
Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah.